So I just received the um, September issue of Fashion Magazine and one of my favorite artists, Lana Del Rey, is on the cover and she is wearing a very nail inspiring outfit. So I was thinking that today I am going to do a tutorial um, inspired by this design on Lana Del Rey's outfit. So one of the things actually I like about the flexi fingers is that you can just remove them from the base and they just slide right off and slide right on. So you just pull it off and you can just put a tip in and work on just one nail at a time. So you don't have to bother with sticky tack or fun tack or glue or sticks or any of that stuff that kind of gets all over your your workstation. So really simple, nice and clean. And I'm going to be working on Lana Del Rey inspired nail art from this month's fashion magazine cover that I just got in the mail today. So I'm going to start off with um, the CNS uh, gel paints that just have come out uh, with Blue Odyssey. And I'm not sure if you can see but it actually has this really dark, intense blue iridescence to it. I'm not sure. Yeah. And it's very similar to the blue iridescent on Lana Del Rey's jacket. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the Blue Odyssey gel paint. And I'm going to just paint one thin solid color over the entire nail. So if you were doing this on a nail, you could do it, um, do like a, could do a clear fill and or a clear new set and then file it, shape it and buff it, sanitize it and then this can go on top of your on top of the nail so that when you have to do a fill it's really easy you just take the design off and do a rebalance and change the design up so as you can see this color actually goes on really really smooth and thin and in a nice solid color so you actually don't need two coats unless you really want to and or if you're one of those two coat kind of people so really nice and smooth, even coverage. And I'm just going to stick that in the light for two minutes to get a full cure. And then I'm going there and it is tackless. So after this, I don't have to file it or buff it or do any of those things. I can just put my art right over top. So what I actually want to show you is I'm going to do some detail painting and I'm just, I actually have two sets of these brushes that I use one for gel and one for painting with acrylic paints and um, uh, ink paints just so that you know they all they last really nice and they don't get um, a build up of two different products in them uh, but you can see that the tip is really really thin really really nice so I have some gold paint in there right now because I'm actually going to start the design here right away I just took the gel out of the UV light and it is dry to the touch and really high shine still like it still looks wet but if you touch it there's nothing on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the VPP art paints and I'm going to paint the designs from Lana Del Rey's jacket so I'm going to start off by doing some of the petals from the flowers it's really kind of neat the design that's on it You don't want to put a lot of 
paint on your brush because you want it to to dry quickly. And you want to be careful not to touch anything that you don't want to blend together. And I'm just going to take a drop of ink here, here, and then just gently pull it down like it's dripping. I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more gold up here. And then I'm just going to let that dry. And then top coat it. And actually to give it that um, fabric effect that it has here, uh, what I do is actually once the, pig, once the ink is partially dried, um, you just take your finger and the, your fingerprint actually will lift off the excess paint and then give it this really interesting texture like fabric. Now I'm just going to top coat it with my top to bottom. and cure it for two minutes in UV light and 60 seconds in LED light.